Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is D'Angelo and I share my sims thoughts and creations. Today I am bringing you a creator sim using the items from the new update, which includes medical wearables and surgery scars. They added top surgery scars finally and my first sim is called Logan, he is a trans sim and I really wanted to make a trans sim to showcase the new top surgery scars. I really love how he turned out. He's kind of like a chef, a kind of insightful, kind, outgoing um, person who loves food and he is just, I just love this sim so much. Guys, I think you'll like, you'll love the way he looks and everything, but I just really felt connected to this sim for some reason, which doesn't happen often when I make sims and cast. But yeah, I just really just love his energy. And yeah, I really like the way he turned out. I also love the top surgery scars. I love the details that they've added. And I just never really thought that they would, the Sims team themselves would add this to the game. But it's about time because it's, we're in year nine now, or year 10, considering how you count up the years. But, you know, we've been waiting for so long for like more diversity. And I feel like for it to be 2023 and for them to add top surgery scars. It feels a little bit late, but I'm glad that they decided to add it. I did notice on Twitter that there was actually a bit of discourse over the surgery scars. Number one, about the fact that they haven't added the surgery scar to the female category in CAS, and that it's only available to the male section. Um, it could be an oversight, but it also could be an issue that they might have encountered trying to add it to the female category. One thing that came to mind for me is that maybe the bra was kind of like the default bra and cast was maybe covering the surgery scar and they kind of hadn't found a workaround. Um, but other people seem to think that it was just an oversight, but I mean, it wouldn't be too uncommon for the Sims. Another issue that people had with the top surgery scar was that there weren't any swatches. It was just one color um, that matched the skin tone, which I kind of agree with. I feel like different surgery scars... Um, recover differently and not everyone has the same surgery scar you know like everyone has everyone recovers in a different way and it would have been cool to see different variations of the scar hopefully they can add that in a future update um but right now i'm just really glad that they even thought to add it um and same with the medical wearables i didn't even think that they were ever going to add hearing aids and glucose monitors or anything of that nature i just thought that was kind of an area that they weren't going to Kind of go into but i'm so glad that they did because i love playing realistically i love having more storytelling avenues and just having another like a different way to play the sims you know i don't like playing the same sim over and over again i don't like playing the same family over and over again and it adds more depth to cast as well even if you're just a cast player so yeah i'm really happy with what they've added i accept that they'll never be perfect and you know the sims team We'll never be able to please everyone but i'm just really happy that they're actually trying for once and they're not just sticking to what is comfortable for them and hopefully this opens a whole new realm of possibility i mean could they add further disabilities could they add more accessories and cast to represent different ailments and different types of people in the sims that have felt so underrepresented for so long who knows? I really hope so. But let's talk about the new expansion pack. I am over the moon with what I saw in that trailer yesterday. I am so, so, so excited. I, all I wanted for The Sims 4 was Generations 2.0, really. Um, and I never thought I was going to get it. I, know, I think we never thought we were going to get it because of Parenthood. We looked at Parenthood. We thought, okay, this is what they're giving us. We're probably never going to get anything generation style in the game, but they actually did it and it actually looks good. And I don't want to get my hopes up. I don't want to get my hopes up like high school years. I don't want to look at the trailer and think that everything is going to be amazing. But I just can't help but, you know, feel positive and optimistic about this. I mean, the things that I saw in that trailer, the baby changing table, tree houses, seems like there could be retirement homes um you know baby showers just like different things that you know add to generations um and honestly one thing that that trailer really surprised me with is that it really made me feel 
hopeful and positive about the idea of having infants in my game. Before the trailer release yesterday, I was really kind of one of the infant haters, honestly. I just kind of felt like they invalidated the existence of toddlers and babies both. I felt like what I wanted for babies was in infants and what I wanted for toddlers to be expanded on was in infants as well. And it kind of felt like there were three half life stages rather than two full life stages like in the previous games. But now that I kind of look at it properly, I feel like infants inclusion could be really important to The Sims 4 and what we really wanted for generations and family gameplay. They really have the potential to buffer the gap that we didn't even know existed. Rather than just expanding on babies and toddlers, adding infants to the game really creates that transitional effect to The Sims lifespans that a lot of people already wanted. A lot of people play with preteens in the game with the preteen mod, and a lot of people have been asking for more transitional life stages. And what I mean by that is a smoother transition between each age group rather than, you know, what it was like before toddlers were even added to the game when it was baby to child, which is such a huge difference. A more smooth and natural transition, baby to infant, infant to toddler, toddler to child. Could it possibly mean that in the future we could have child to preteen, preteen to teen? Who knows? I feel like this could add a whole new layer of realism to the game that a lot of people have been asking for. I'm sure that a lot of people are not super excited about infants, even with the new trailer, but I feel like they could come around if the Sims team implement things properly. Honestly, for the first time in a long time for the game, I have hope for the future. And although I've continued playing The Sims 4 for a long time, despite all of the issues that the game has had, all of the controversies, Journey to Batu, <laughs> all of those things, I have continued playing because I always have loved The Sims. I love the game, I love the concept, I love the legacy, no pun intended, of The Sims, and I don't think anything can really drive me away. But now that we actually have a promising pack, one that is fundamental to what we all, or the majority of us, really want in The Sims. I'm really excited for my future in The Sims, and your future in The Sims, and all of us having fun in this game, finally. But yeah, let me talk about this sim really quickly. Her name is Mary, she is deaf, I love her. I love the design of the hearing aids, but one thing that I noticed is that when I was trying to add earrings, the hearing aid would come off. I feel like that was an oversight on the Sims team's part. I noticed that there was issues with the glucose monitor as well. Um, so yeah, hopefully they fix that in an update. But if you guys want to download these Sims, you can get them in the gallery at D'AngeloXOX. And the full CC list will be on my Patreon, link in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And be sure to let me know your thoughts on the new expansion pack in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys think. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.